Next, we discuss about frequency. What is mean by frequency? Suppose you switch on the fan in your room. Take a stopwatch. Identify one blade of your fan. Put the fan in low speed and see that the number of revolutions it is doing. Suppose using stopwatch you understand that for 30 seconds one particular bit the fan rot uh, uh, revoluting in 30 times. So in 30 seconds the blade revoluting in 30 times then we can say that its frequency is 1 revolution per second. That means how many times a body or an object is doing the action repeatedly in one particular second is what called frequency. Suppose think that see this mark, this chalk piece, this chalk piece I am holding like this table. If I take the stopwatch and I am moving this chalk piece like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So within 10 seconds I have moved this chalk piece to 5 times. So in 10 seconds I move the chalk piece to 5 times. So in 1 second how many times I have moved? Then 1 by 10 into 5. How much this is? 5 by 10. 1 by 2 per second. That means I have moved chalk piece half time in 1 second. And this is what called my frequency. So coming to waves. Frequency defined as it is number of vibrations per second. Number of oscillations per second. So frequency F equal to number of vibrations per second. Suppose see this diagram. In this diagram the waves traveled for one second. Hold the waves traveled for t equal to one second. In one second you have seen the waves. Now listen vibration means one complete wave. One complete wave means see from this point you start and you have to end here. This is called half wave. This is called another half wave. So do half waves combine, com combining gives one complete wave. So this is one complete wave. Now this is another complete wave. So two waves. And this is another complete wave. Three waves. So one, two, three. So total how many waves we have? Three waves. Wave represents one vibration. So how many vibrations you have? Three vibrations. For how much of time? One second. So therefore, here the frequency equals to 3 vibrations, 3 vibrations per second. Or you can say 3 waves per second. But instead of writing vibrations per second, waves per second, we have another unit also called H. So I can write 3 H Z. That's it. Hertz. Hertz is the scientist's name. He was a very famous scientist who wanted to know about the electromagnetic waves. So we have taken his name as unit for the frequency. So instead of saying 3 vibrations per second, you simply say 3 hertz. Okay. Now let us draw another simple diagram here. Observe carefully. Now this is also done for t equals to 1 second. Now what is this frequency? Count the waves. 1 wave, 2 wave, 3 wave, 4 wave or else count the peaks 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 peaks you have that means 4 waves and hence the frequency equal to 4 hertz. So frequency always number of vibrations per second or number of waves per second and frequency SI unit is hertz. There is a relationship between frequency and time period. What is that? T is called time period and it is defined as it is the time taken to complete one vibration. That means the time taken to complete one full vibration. Time taken to complete one vibration. One vibration I can say, one oscillation I can say, one rotation also I can say. That is time. And you know the unit of time, it is seconds. Now see this diagram once again. Here I told you that 
to have this complete waves the amount of time is taken one second all the waves but how many waves you have three waves means three vibrations we have but time period defined as to complete one vibration so for three vibrations you are taking one second for one vibration how much of time you have taken calculate you are correct it is nothing but one by three second so for, for one complete vibration the time taken is one by three seconds so this is called time period of the wave if you observe the previous frequency and time period previous I told that the frequency is 3 Hertz now I'm saying that time equal 1 by 3 second is it not that F equal to 3 there here also 3 you got so instead of 3 I can keep F here so therefore I can say F equal to 1 by T frequency is the reciprocal of time period so in this case T equal to 1 by 3 implies its frequency is 3 Hertz so when you know frequency you can find time period when you know time period you can find frequency now we have come to the very important formula in sound this formula not only important in sound it is important in wave chapter and that property or characteristic is wave speed we have discussed about the speed in mechanics chapter loss of motions and um, different topics speed defined as a distance by time so here also you can say speed equals to distance by time well correct but here coming to waves distance means we will take this distance the distance between two consecutive crests or the distance between two consecutive troughs so that distance represents the lambda and time period t and this speed this speed symbol is v so therefore v equal to lambda by t is the formula for wave speed but we know that 1 by t is nothing but frequency just now we have discussed f equal to 1 by t so as f equal to 1 by t implies you can write v equal to f into lambda so instead of 1 by t i am writing f so you have two formulas for wave speed either lambda by t or f into lambda sometimes in textbooks frequency is represented by symbol called nu so you can write like this nu lambda don't be confused f nu both are frequencies now see this graph once again say some values i'm giving here say the lambda equals to two centimeters lambda equal to 2 centimeters and speed of the wave of the sound wave is say 330 meters per second then what is frequency of this wave i have given a question to you the lambda at the distance between two consecutive crests is 2 centimeters and speed of the sound is 330 meters per second what is its frequency now we have the formula v equal to f lambda implies what is v value 330 equal to f into lambda lambda is in centimeters convert into meters when you convert into meters you will get 2 into 10 power minus 2 because 1 centimeter equal to 1 by 100 meter now f equals to take this left hand side so 330 by 2 into 10 power minus 2 goes to numerator it becomes 10 power plus 2 so to 2 zeros extra so 2 cancel it so how much this is 2 16 32 5 is 10 so 2 double zeros so implies frequency f equals to 165 double zero hertz very high frequency 